Hello, and this is Zacho X again. Um, today we're going to go a little bit more over public variables and uh, arrays. Um, I'm going to show you something I didn't show you for the references real quick because there's still so much to go over. Um, let's go ahead and write our own little sub real quick. And this time I'm going to use um, by valve in front and explain to you what this is doing. Okay, so we've got our little uh, sub procedure right here. What by valve does, go ahead and change variable string case is going to equal nothing. And then we're going to have a little button here. Okay. Um, what's going to happen here is I'm going to pass a variable, a string into this sub procedure, but it's not going to change. And I'll show you in just a second. Let's go ahead and do our declares um, dim string case as string. Now I can use the same uh, name here because these are not really the same thing. This is within itself here. This can be within itself here. And so I, I could say string case here too. Uh, so I'll give an example. Use procedure. Let's go ahead and call y string case. But we haven't really said what y is. So right above here I'm going to use and go ahead and, and uh, initialize it or announce it. So string case is equal to hello. So the newest thing that I'm showing you right now is this by valve right here. Um, this is saying when this string hello is put into this y uh, sub procedure that it should now equal nothing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and message box it to show you. But after this call, I'm going to message box um, string case. And what should happen here is string case should still be hello. Um, even though we're sending this in, we're not really referencing. Um, the, to, to do by default would be by ref. Um, we're doing by val. So what's happening is this variable is not going to really change. It only changes within this sub procedure, but once it comes back out again, it's equal to what it was previously. So hello in here is going to be hello. But once hello goes into here, it's going to say nothing. Let me go ahead and run this real quick. And so we see nothing. Hello. And that's really just what I was explaining. Um, see it said right here there was nothing but then afterwards it said hello because we didn't really change it because of this by valve but let's just go ahead and use by ref to show that it will change so first we'll get nothing and then nothing again now by default this would be um, by ref so just erasing this by default that's by ref um, and the variable would change in this case. Now I'm going to talk about using public variables. To use a public variable I highly suggest creating a module. Let's create the module over here. First you right click over here and then go to add and you're going to select module. Hit open. And you can rename the module here. I usually suggest it so you know what it is. Um, you could put mod or anything else, but I usually just use bass for module. And we'll just say um, uh, public for now. Usually put something like public variables. Um, so we're going to go ahead and declare, and then I'm going to explain a little bit about this. You could use global here, but I use public and the prefix for 
uh, global slash public is a G, but then um, a continued prefix. So, for instance, if you're going to use a string, then it'd be string str, and then we'll just put name as string. So now we have our global variable, um, and we can go ahead and call that, or use it actually, excuse me, 